How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm tattooing with the cheapest machine that I could find in Amazon, which was $40. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna compare the difference between the cheapest machine versus the most expensive one. Um, so let's get this day started, dog. The big one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Yes. What's up? What's up? What's up? Now you gotta open it up. So this machine is called the Mummy Rotary Tattoo Machine. I got it for uh, $39 at Amazon. Nice. Babe, how do you pronounce M-U-M-M-Y? Is it mummy or mommy? M-U-M-M-Y. Like a mummy? Like the movie mummy? It was definitely the cheapest one I could find. The coils were more expensive than rotaries. It comes with its own cable. Oh yeah. Here it is. I'm gonna complete this project that I started on McG at the Barrier Expo. So the chimpan chimpanzee, <laughs> chimpanzee, uh, it's fully healed, it's been a, a month. And if you haven't seen the video, go ahead and check it out after this one. Hey guys, my name is Chris McGeorge and uh, I'm the apprentice here at Innovative Inc. And I'm getting tattooed by a machine off of Amazon. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> After tattooing for so long with batteries, uh, it definitely feels a little weird having a cable on my uh, station with a power supply. What did you like about the cords? Okay, that's a good question. It's a good question. What I didn't like about the cords is having too many cables on my station. I had my lamp cable, another lamp cable, power supply cable, tattoo machine, clip cord, another cable. Batteries eliminate two cables out of your station, it's a lot more sanitary and it's more convenient. So this is what we got going on today. My setup today is gonna be fully black. My medium tone is gonna have 70% black and 30% white. And my lightest tone is gonna have 20% uh, black and 80% white. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is freehanding the whole galaxy here. It's just an illusion. You know that song? That I have in my heart. Amor. No, it's amor. Oh, I Get copyright. Yeah, <laughs> I know you know that song, folks. It's just an illusion that I have in my heart. Nice little perfect circle here. I've done a few galaxies in the past, so uh, I think I studied it enough for me to know what to add and what's gonna make this flow. Um, and like I mentioned in my last video, if you're gonna do something, do not have any doubt. My light source is gonna come from here, so I want this to be the big highlight, and here's gonna be the darkest part. So I'm gonna do a big rock right here, big meteor, boom. Let's do a Milky Way right here. Oh, that's tight right there. I, was, I already, I already see the shape. This is gonna be a big rock right here. Yeah, last week I think. Big oh, meteor. Boom. And then, how about I do like a shooting star right here? Oh. Pew! Oh. A couple stars on this side. You know those 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 areas where it's like gas. It's like a, it's a four, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like a gassy area. <laughs> gassy area right here as far as my needle selection I'm gonna be using my 14 round shader for my white highlights I'm gonna use a seven round liner Pfft, I'm ready to use this machine it's heavy this is heavy I feel like I'm gonna be like oh I can do biceps with this oh. I'm gonna be running it right now it's running at uh, 5.0 let's see 
Yeah. So 5.0. It's running pretty good. It packs really good. I don't have an issue with it. It's like I'm working with like a normal, like if I was working with my flux. I am slightly surprised that, yeah, that it's pushing it. It's really pushing the ink. Quick too, at 5.0. I already put down my first layer of black. I'm gonna go and start applying my gray tones. After going at it for about 30 minutes, I realized that the machine was hitting a little too hard. So I had to turn it down. I had to turn down my voltage from a 5.0 to a 4.5. This machine had no mercy. It was hitting hard. Like as soon as you hit the skin, it was a direct hit. Aggressive, das, das, das. It didn't feel right to be tattooing at that voltage. So I had to turn it down because on my hand, it felt too hard of a hit uh, and too much trauma to the skin. So I felt like it was the right thing to just turn it down to Apprentice here around so many great artists. Um, I learned so much every day. Early on in my apprenticeship, I I used to think that it was the machine that made a difference. Uh, in my own experience, I've used two different machines. Uh, I used to think that one machine was great for shading and the other one was great for lining until I actually started playing with my hand speed and adjusting my voltage and my needle depth and the way I do everything. And I ended up just using one and needing one. So I, I, I am a firm believer in, um, in your techniques, uh, technique over tools for sure. Follow me on my IG at Tattoos by McG. Uh, I appreciate Kevin, this leg is insane. Thank you, Mr. Reyes, and shout out Innovative Inc. Gang. So what I have here are a list of my favorite machines to my least favorite. And because a lot of people ask me, what is your favorite machine or what's your go-to? And I think that a better question is, how comfortable are you with your needle depth, your hand speed, and your voltage. I think having those three elements is gonna help you a lot to really unlock each machine's full potential. I don't wanna discourage you from using any of these machines. Uh, this is just what works for me. Drop a comment and let me know if one of these machines work better for you. Let me start with my least favorite, which is the Spirit here. It just doesn't hit as hard. In order for me to pack in the way I like to pack, I have to bump it up all the way to 8.5 in my voltage, which it irritates the skin a lot faster. It definitely hits a little bit harder than this one. It was still pushing me to bump up my voltage to a 7.5. Um, this one, I really like the Bishop uh, for lining. I can do a clean line work with it. Uh, when it comes down to shading though, that's where I was not satisfied with it. I was not able to pack in color or pack in my grays and my solid blacks as fast as I like to. Here we have the Nova. It is a great machine. It's really innovative, I'm not gonna lie, where you, you know, this is how you choose your voltage and you go down. I definitely feel like that's unique and original. Uh, and it's also expensive, it's about $1,000. Moving on to the Flux, I love this machine. This one makes your life so much easier when it comes down to doing line work, packing in color, effortless. I mean, you just go in and the line is right there. Uh, it is about 1200 bucks. 
and if you want an extra battery they're expensive as well they're about $200 uh, and finally my favorite machine has to be the Spectra the reason why is because it is a, it is almost identical to the Flux um, the price is $650 and if you know the guy from the store, probably give it to you for 500 bucks, you know, the hookup. Um, I definitely like this machine a lot because it is exactly like the Flux. The big difference is the pricing. In case this machine breaks, it's really easy to go buy a, a new one and send this one back to get it fixed. And it's, it doesn't hurt your pocket, especially for artists who are starting, you know, and are really wanting to have a good machine, but not really spend too much money on the best machines out there. Uh, I definitely would recommend this one. We're gonna compare the cheapest machine to the most expensive. By the way, I don't want you guys thinking that I own all these machines. <laughs> I'm just borrowing these machines from my colleagues up in here. What I've noticed when it comes down to the cheapest machine to the most expensive one is that the most expensive and this one have the same hit. The biggest difference between these two that I felt like I did not like about the Mummy is that with this one, you cannot line comfortably. It definitely causes a lot more damage to the skin and it is not the best when it comes down to lining. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Huh?